Hello students, first of all I would like to congratulate each and everyone for achieving a significant milestone receiving the call for the interview phase. So as you prepare to face the interview panel, remember that you have already proven your mettle. This interview is an opportunity to express or show the depth of your understanding, your passion for public services and the unique quality that set you apart. Remember, this is not just a test. It is a chance for you to enhance your knowledge and strengthen your skills. Now I am going to share three things to keep in mind. First, approach this mock interview with a positive mindset. Take each question as an opportunity and make it a goal to answer every single question. Even if a question seems challenging, take a moment to think about it. Second, pay close attention to the question as it allows you to understand the sense of each question. Make notes if necessary and use the information provided by me to craft a well-structured and comprehensive answer. And third, try to relate your answer to broader concepts within the subject. This not only reflect your depth of knowledge but also shows your ability to make connection and see the things in bigger picture. And in last, when questions comes in front of you, simply pause the video, try to answer yourself. First of all, take this first question. What is the role of Hox gene in embryonic development? You can say in that way, uh, remember before listing my answer, you have to pause the video and try to answer yourself once you have completed your answer then listen my answer and if you will find anything very important just add in your answer and make a proper notes and uh, if possible practice as much as before your actual interview so let's begin take the first question what is the role of Hox gene in embryonic development? You can say in that way. Sir, Hox gene are responsible for the development of the body plane in, in, in animals. They determine the location and identity of body segments during embryonic, in, during embryonic development. Take the next question. What is the major stage of em, embryonic development? Pause the video, listen first, pause the video, answer first, then listen. So you can answer in that way, sir, the major stages of embryonic development are fertilization, cleavage, gastrulation, neurulation and organogenesis. So it begins from fertilization and ends with the birth of child or the organism. Take the next question. What is the difference between microevolution and macroevolution? So always confine your answer so that you have not gives any additional clue to the board members so that they again and again raise the questions from their areas. So so, uh, so do the answer in that way. So microevolution refers to small scale changes in allele frequencies within a population, while mic while macroevolution refers to large scale evolutionary changes such as the emergence of new species. Take the next question. What is the role of animals in human society? You can understand that sir, animal play many many important roles in, in human society including providing foods, clothing, medicines and different types, uh, types of companionships and uh, we are looking uh, towards animal and even dependent on animal for various other purposes like the foods, like the meats, like the medicines you can say in that way Next, take the question. How can we balance the conservation of animal species with the need of human population? 
यू हैव टू आंसर इन दैट वे सर वन वे टू बैलेंस कंजर्वेशन विथ ह्यूमन नीड्स इज टू डेवलप सस्टेनेबल प्रैक्टिस दैट मिनिमाइज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज ऑन एनिमल पॉपुलेशन सच एज सस्टेनेबल फिशिंग और प्राउन कल्चरिंग और इको टूरिज्म और एनी काइंड ऑफ एस्थेटिक एक्टिविटीज और इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ नेशनल पार्क बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व सो यू हैव टू से इन दैट वे एक दो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज इम्पेंटिंग सिंपली से दैट वे सर इम्पेंटिंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ लर्निंग दैट अकर्स ड्यूरिंग अ क्रिटिकल पीरियड इन इन एन एनिमल्स डेवलपमेंट इट इन्वॉल्व द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ लास्टिंग बॉन्ड बिटवीन एन एनिमल्स एंड इट्स केयर गिवर्स और अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स और एनी अदर मेंबर्स एक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ न्यूरल ट्यूब फॉर्मेशन आंसर इन दैट वे सर न्यूरल ट्यूब फॉर्मेशन इज अ क्रिटिकल स्टेज इन इन इम्यूनिक डेवलपमेंट वेयर द न्यूरल प्लेट फोल्स इन वर्ड्स टू फॉर्म द न्यूरल ट्यूब्स विच गिव राइज टू द ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड्स और इन अदर वे यू कैन से ड्यू टू इन्वेजिनेशन ऑफ न्यूरल प्लेट्स न्यूरल ट्यूब फॉर्म्स विच लेटर गिव राइज ब्रेन्स एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज कन्वर्जेंट इवोल्यूशन यू कैन से इन दैट वे सर कन्वर्जेंट इवोल्यूशन is the process by which unrelated species develop similar traits due to similar environmental pressure so this is the first round zoology interview session in this session i am going to ask you the basic questions and gradually i will increase the toughness of each session so take the next question what is the role of enzyme in metabolism this is the This question needs a very short and smart answer, so you have to answer in that way. Sir, so enzyme catalyzes metabolic reaction in the body, allowing organism to do the work very fast. That can they don't do without the enzyme. The okay, next question: What is the role of enzyme in metabolic pathway? You can say, sir, enzyme catalyzes metabolic reactions by lowering the activation energy required for a reaction to occur. They can also regulate the rate of metabolic pathway by either activating or inhibiting enzymes. What is activation energy, sir? You can say simply, sir, activation energy the is the minimum energy required to catalyze or start a, a, chem, a biochemical reactions. Take the next question. What is the difference between dominant and recessive allele? You can say in that way. So dominant allele are expressed when present in either one or both copies of a gene, while recessive allele are only expressed when they present in both copies of a gene. To subscribe and share so you will get early information. And if you have any question, please do write in the comment box of the video. Approach this mock interview with a positive mindset. Take each questions as an opportunity and make it a goal to answer every single questions. Even if a question seems challenging, take a moment to think about it. Stay calm and composed throughout the interview. If you come across a challenging question, take a deep breath and approach it methodically. Your ability to stay calm under pressure is valuable skills that the interviewer are likely observing. note down where you feel you need improvement it in a point topic wise and practice or revise after the session remember this is your chance not to only test your knowledge but also to refine your interview skills approach it with confidence enthusiasm and don't forget to watch another video